swear. Huh. I'd rather what? <laughs> what? What did they get? I'd say rather again? go through the pain of seeing my father slowly die of cancer again than listen to your voice. That is brutal, that, bro. That is mean. That that top, is that top, is top, top tier mean. That is wickedness. No, I, I don't think I'll... Yeah. <laughs> did the person recover? I doubt. You can't recover from this lie. Look, because tell you what, I know the pain that you feel when you lose a parent. Yeah. And to say that, I'd rather... Sit down and sit watch down. slowly my father dying than listen rather to Rather hear your... Hi, it's another exciting episode on your favorite podcast, the FNF Catchy Dialogues. We're going straight into the conversation, but we begin with a food for thought. So today's food for thought mm-hmm. from Israel Moore Aivo. It says, save your skin from the corrosive acids from the mouths of toxic people. Someone who just helped you speak evil about another person can later help another person to speak evil about you yeah of course if they're able to help you literally talk ill about someone else then yeah they can do the reverse so self-explanatory <laughs> good no yeah. need for deliberation yeah now on today we're going to discuss um just going to speak about a thread on um reddit mm. yeah so this thing has been on our mind there's something i actually want to say guys Stay to the end of the video and I'll tell you the meanest thing someone has said to me. The meanest. Meanest. The meanest thing. So what's the meanest thing someone has said to you? Put your thoughts in the comment section. Yeah, that is actually our question of the day. That's our question of the day as well. Okay, so what's the meanest thing someone has said to you? I'll just go straight into the thread and then we will bring our, our thoughts on board. Okay, so this one says, I'd rather go through the pain of seeing my father slowly die of cancer again than listen to your voice. A guy said this to me during a university basketball game when I was cheering outside. <laughs> Swear. Hey, I'd rather... What? What? What did they get? I'd say rather again? go through the pain of seeing my father slowly die of cancer again than listen to your voice. That is brutal, that, bro. That is mean. That that top, is that top, is top, top tier mean. That is wickedness. No, I, I don't think I'll. Yeah. <laughs> did the person recover? I doubt. You can't recover from this lie. Look, cause tell you what, I know the pain. That you feel when you lose a parent. Yeah. And to say that, I'd rather... Sit down and sit watch slowly my father dying than listen rather to Rather hear you. What at all? What, how was it? <laughs> the person what's, cheering What's it. the person's oh, voice? Listen to this. This was when I was 14. From a girl in my English class. I'm surprised you haven't killed yourself. Maybe you should. It's not like anyone likes you. What where did you find this again? Reddit. On Reddit, yeah. Wow. It's it's crazy. So imagine if you're growing up as a child, yeah, and you have someone tell you this. This thing will stick it will stay you, on your conscience and exactly. it just it just demoralizes you. Exactly. It, it makes it, you feel less it, of yourself. You lose self worth, self value. You see, all of these people that we know now as adults who have got inferiority complex issues and all yeah. of the some of these bit could be stemming from oh, yeah. things that oh, they were yeah. told oh, trauma yeah. from childhood oh, and all yeah. of those bits yeah bro yeah continue are you even a real engineer or is our hr department so bad that they didn't bother to check ah, where, so 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 imagine where did you imagine, find these imagine again? imagine so the first day you started a, a new job, a new job role, or let's say a, a few weeks after you started a new job role, and then 
this guy or lady just walks up to you. Are you Fifi? Yeah. You say, "Yeah, I'm I'm Fifi." And so so let's let's put ourselves in that pers- yeah. perspective. All right. Hey, are you Fifi? Yeah, I'm Fifi. All right. How can I help? Okay. So you are the new um software engineer, right? Yeah. 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 Are you that bad at engineering? Well, or I- or uh HR didn't bother to check your your portfolio or your your CV? What? Bro, that brings you to zero. No matter how high you think of yourself, it brings you to zero. Yeah. And what would you... Ah, I'm just imagining the, the extent of damage Bro. this can do to people. Bro. And it's not, see, these are just people saying there's yeah. on the internet. Yeah. We've all experienced... Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. I had someone tell me somewhere back in nursing school over an issue and the person was like you're very stupid you're very stupid hey you know here people say stupid like yeah but back back where we're coming from if someone tells you you're stupid you're stupid like we're a question yeah <laughs> which yeah you're an animal like, you don't reason you have no sense i was like you don't think like a human bro being. very stupid was he a colleague or yeah, I was a colleague. Hi. I was like, what? And what do you do? How did you react? I was dumbfounded. <laughs> you, you, be, you be surprised. You can't I react was, because <laughs> that. You see, whatever we were discussing did yeah. not warrant that that, that kind of response. Or well, the person just didn't like you. There are some people that they they are waiting for an opportunity to just say something to sting you for yeah. life. So even if you don't bring yourself, they'll force you to put yourself in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I think over, I think another one would be, I think quite on a serious issue I was discussing with someone, the person was like, you are not serious. You're not serious. No. It can be just a, a flying no, comment. It, but it, you are not serious or you are not correct. You're not correct. It's, 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 you, know, it's, you know, one, you know, some, some, some of those comments, like, right? If it's among guys, we, we can joke with some, some things, it. but the person you least expect that, that kind of from, comment from, someone you 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 respect so much someone yeah. you are shy of, or someone you don't even have that kind of relationship with like, just passes yeah anyway yeah so decided to bring a person to school one day just to try it out a person i was friends with looked at me and he said you know i can never see you being pretty i fucking hate this guy still and I think of it whenever I try to look pretty. It's put quite a dent in my confidence. Exactly what we were talking about. Are people just yeah. very mean? Or do, do you know, some, some of these people, right? I think they really secondary trauma. They are people who have never experienced love. So they try to uh, um, just push that thing onto other people. So I've never experience somebody cheering me up or somebody saying i'm i'm yeah. nice so when i see someone looking nice i try to go with that anger exactly but try to what, what's, the, what, what's the sense what fulfillment would you get out of it i don't know so before i continue i'll share my story <laughs> so i was in um, junior high school back in ghana yeah somewhere 2008 yeah and then where well, parents pay school fees i don't look after myself so i don't exp- i can't afford anything i'm not working i was just about 12 by then and then this teacher had given us handouts right mm-hmm. books to work books for the various subjects and he was our course tutor or something so he he gave these out and it was on credit by then my dad was seriously ill he had undergone a surgery so he wasn't actively working and he's uh i'll say if he doesn't go to work there's no work like these people who do these handy jobs right yeah. so if you don't go and work you are you are you are the employer and the employee <laughs> so he has spent all like most of his savings yeah. on um the surgery and all the yeah. other things right so the time to repay for the books where were due Mm-hmm. the teacher comes to class and then one painful thing i don't know why 
teachers or headmasters or principals back then, I don't know if they are still doing it, they'll cane you because you've not paid your fees. Knowing that. As if you are, you are, the, yeah, one you are the one who looks after yourself. Go and kill my father or my mother. So, this teacher came me. Like, several times you came me, I'll be crying. I was that very shy person. I was very timid, sort of, in, in uh, during those days. And he asked me one time, you every time you don't have money, why do you lie in bed with poverty? It broke my spirit. The number of years it took me to recover from that statement. The teacher told you that. I... Do you know, I told myself that. So, that was one of the trigger moments that's, that made me want to be very successful. Not to shame him, wow. but just to see if that was my destiny. I just wanted to prove myself and him wrong in, in a way. Do you, do you lie in, in bed, bed with, with poverty? Indirectly, he's saying, he's referring to my parents. But the way he said it to me without any remorse... Yeah. I I hate him till date. Mm-hmm. He knew I didn't like him. One time he, he called me to his office and he said, Um, I've heard you you've told some of your colleagues you don't like me. And I also don't like you. I told him, Yeah, I, I don't like you. Yeah. And that one day I'll go and look for that man. Oh, you want to buy him a car. Buy him show, a car. To show him that now by God's grace, yeah. Hey. Like the, the mad him. thoughts I had about this man. Yeah, like I can only imagine. I, you don't have to hate a man, but if there's one person I hate, is that man. I've forgiven him, but I still hate him. I don't like you, him. You have it complete. Yeah, I can imagine the like pain. I've, I've forgiven pain. him. Yeah, the kind of things I I but had in dent, mind to to, to to repay him for that comment. I've forgiven him, so I'm not going to do it. But I still hate him. I don't like him. The dentist, I can imagine. Do I like growing up at poverty? That age. I cried the whole day. I went to my mom and I asked my mom, Is it my fault? Like, what wrong have I done? Yeah, you're making me sad, man. Like, why? Do you know I had inferiority complex? I suffered with inferiority complex. Do I'm that type of person that I won't make you disrespect me, but I thought less of myself. So I don't get close to you. No, I know how I relate to people. It was, it was. A challenge it was a struggle god when the next life i i wish that god will create everybody equal that I, that wouldn't happen bro it's unfortunate these you coming know from the sad uh, realities of life we spoke about you know it. The, the thing is that growing up as a child right yeah things were good like i lived one of the best lives growing as a child i was so pampered my mom work was going on whatever i wanted i got but Sometimes life takes a turn and then you, you go to the, the rocky parts. You go through those ro- rocky parts in life and it's episode upon episode, things that will make you feel less of yourself from comments, even from colleagues. I, I, within that time, we were going for positions in school and then a senior made a comment because you, you have to have a senior ahead of you before mm. you start vying for positions yeah. so that they hand over to you. Definitely. And he said, you want to go for this position. Do you think we vote for fools? So anytime there's like sort of a position, I, you, you know, exactly. that, 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 no that, matter that, what, that thought would immediately yeah, it's, come it's in like, your subconscious memory. And if you, if you don't make a deliberate effort to Fight that thought. It yeah. would hunt you for the rest of your life. Seriously. You see, now you even still remember it. Imagine if you hadn't gotten over it. You would probably still be back home because you think, oh, I can't I can't travel like other people no, are like doing. You, I you, can't you, do it. You, 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 you don't, you never feel enough. It affects everything about you. Yeah. You know, there are people that, like, they feel so worthless that, even if they get a nice thing, they don't. They think they don't deserve, deserve it. Deserve it. Yeah. Well, thankfully, you've been able to fight that, and now, I mean, if your teacher should see you, he he will be happy that you're no that longer man, lying in bed. I, do, I don't you know go, if I should mention you probably his go, name. No, you, you don't need hey. to. Don't don't mention his name. He he knows, like he will remember. Yeah, and hopefully he sees this I'll, video. <laughs> I pray that he doesn't die before I meet him. You want to meet him? If even if I don't meet him here, I'll. No, I won't meet him in hell. 
<laughs> if he doesn't go to heaven, he will meet me. But I'll meet him. That man, I'll meet him. Do I lie in bed with poverty? But I, I think that is traumatic to Why hear. Why would you say that to a, a young child. boy? 12 years. What What do I What do I do? Yeah. I don't earn my own money. I rely on someone. So indirectly, you are saying my father is very responsible or... Like, I don't know. Words are very powerful and we tend to... Words kill. Exactly. We, words, we, we, we tend kill. to downplay the effect words can... That is why it is a good thing and I think it's a good practice that a lot of people do. Um, what's it called? Is it called positive affirmations or something yeah. like that? Mm-hmm. When you it's wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, say good stuff yeah. about yourself and it kind of affects you, kind yeah. of eventually rubs on you, begin to see the impact of it. And one negative comment is is good enough, literally, to kind of subdue the effect of all the positive things. Which, which... Uh, do you know, the, the things that some of us have heard, like... <laughs> so, in... One lady I had a relationship with, why? Yeah. Probably she, she doesn't remember. So ah, she, wait, wait, wait. You had you were in a relationship with her, but she doesn't remember you. No, were in no, a, she doesn't remember. Oh, okay. Probably she doesn't remember what I'm going to say. Ah, yeah. What kind of relationship, but, man? <laughs> but she she made a comment one time. I was young then. I didn't know anything. Mm. But you know, young love. And then she she asked, Nani J, do you know something? I said, What? And she said, Do you know that if it's now, like it's today, that you are going to propose to me in this current circumstance. I wouldn't have accepted. And I asked her why. And she said, because I, I feel you are not my class. No wonder that it didn't take long for the relationship to end anyway. But she... Hey, she but you two, you suffer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know, poverty is a bastard, I swear. Like hardship, eh? It's a bastard. And there are people who are very mean. They they don't realize that life can change, like circumstances can change. I know, like yeah, like that. Yeah, that life changes. Anyway. Why would you? Oh God. Yeah, guys. I think we need to end this before, before this guy. No, 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 no. Giving... But like, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 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 crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't I know think... if you've 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 heard some crazy stuff that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, exactly. Like I said, people have told me crazy stuff like you're stupid, you you're not correct. When I'm actually like I feel like it's not warranted. And um I'm that one person if if those close close by will know, I'm that one person that I have a very high image of myself. Do you get it? Like it's not like I'm pompous or I'm proud or something, but I've got this image of the kind of person I want to be yeah. in my mind. Mm-hmm. So when you say something, it kind of bounces off that and then it goes away. Like you tell me I'm stupid. Am I stupid? No, no. if it doesn't. Yeah. I don't think I am. Yeah. You see, when when you you do something wrong, you're able to acknowledge it. Oh that, yeah. Oh, this one I've done wrong. But if it's not warranted, then it hurts. And sometimes the person who was giving that remark or remarks or whatever it is can also determine the level of pain mm. you would feel. Oh, yeah. There yeah. are some people that I think say it deliberately. That is why, do you know, um, building self-confidence, it starts from the home. So charity begins at home. And I agree with it 100%. Yeah. Children who are very confident, who are outspoken, yeah, it begins from how they relate, their parents relate to them. Mm. Yeah, Absolutely. if you see a child that's outspoken in class, a child is very confident by nature. That is how some of them they are naturally extroverts. Yeah, even with the introverts, there are people who are introverts but very confident. They have self worth. Yeah. They start from home. When the mom, the dad says good things. You are, you are, so my aunt calls her, her, um, her children. She's got, uh, one of my aunties, she's got three uh, boys. Mm. She calls one prof. 
she calls one honorable she calls one like like yeah, title you know, like that. Yeah. yeah so just to like gives them that sense of not to make you pompous but like exactly. you know like, hey you can you can become that that person perfect because like this child would grow up with that image yeah that I, this I, my I, what yeah, what exactly. my mom I thinks about me in a professor role like in an honorable yeah. role in yeah. that and it will be difficult for someone to just rubbish that that's why i'm yeah. saying that things you can say something it will get to me but it won't last even five minutes so i, I have about i have a very on. big problem with parental insult their children yeah and it's typical in um, and in yeah, our, our yeah, local yeah. communities yeah, where me. you're very stupid you <laughs> even some very derogatory and yeah some are like curses unprintable words <laughs> you you this boy because of this thing like you never son, prosper out of anger you will never be good <laughs> do you know you are stupid so you hear you are stupid hundred times from your mom when you go out and somebody says you are stupid it's it's no news <laughs> And you grow up becoming that kind of person. You see? Ah, uh, well. Uh, so we, we should just be careful the way we talk to people, the way um we some of the comments you 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 take it as funny, yeah. right? But you don't know how the the person propagates it or understands it. Yeah. Because it's not only by actions, words are very powerful. Words are very powerful so words powerful. can just can words make, can make and make you yeah words it's out of words that wars war yeah. wars between nations erupt exactly right? so what's yeah. a very powerful imagine going to your favorite watch joint together uh, uh, watching us that just that statement like Charlie, the watch is Charlie, finished Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> yeah watching us yeah you see but you just feel like oh it's it's nothing but Guys, let's let's all yeah, be, be safe out there. Mind the kind of comments we give other people. Yeah. Just let's try to be decorous with our words. Yeah. I think we, we can all gradually make the world a happy place. Yeah. With with words. With words. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very Yeah. Yeah. So our question of the day now would be what is the meanest thing someone has said to you? What's the meanest thing yeah. someone has said to you? Feel free yeah. to leave your your thoughts in there and we'll, we'll take time to respond to them and then probably mention them in the next episode yeah yeah cool yeah, definitely. any last words no no okay. we'll, we'll bring uh an end to our episode saying thanks so much for staying with us and yeah. then until we meet in our next episode peace